everyone I want to just check in be really quick um it's so quiet out here um we made it we are in the Bonghua area um near Chunyang I guess is the closest place and um we're here on an apple farm and we have this gorgeous house they built it um themselves it's all ours so um the family like lives here they're super nice and we're probably gonna try and pick hopefully the rain stops um in the afternoon so we're gonna try and pick apples maybe just walk around enjoy there are cats everywhere um yeah it's beautiful so i'll see you tomorrow the fields of glories now the fields of glories now Let me make popcorn. morning from our apple farm it uh, rained pretty hard this morning but it's just kind of drizzling now watching the clouds over the mountains so pretty oh now it's starting to rain hard sorry we're gonna eat we're gonna eat inside um, just cuz it's a little sticky out here but the temperature is perfect she said picking apples in the rain probably isn't great so we might do that tomorrow morning but either way good morning welcome I'm gonna talk more I feel like I haven't talked at all yet but um yeah, we just we're having like a really relaxing time away. So yeah, I will see you inside. <laughs> finally officially checking in from Bonghua. Um, I found this Airbnb pension thing through Instagram or something. If I could find the actual person I found it from, I'll link them down below, but it was a Korean creator. Originally, I was thinking of booking this place because by that time I would have had my Korean driver's license and I would have been able to drive out here and I don't like driving in the city. Um, I don't like driving anyway, but I don't want to drive in the city in Korea 
Um, so I thought like, oh, like a little countryside town, this will be nice. And then I found out I couldn't rent a car. So that was a problem, but it was pretty easy to get here. We just took a bus straight from Dong Seoul and then took a taxi uh, the rest of the way. And thank God we did because there is like one lane, but two way road, if that makes sense, going up the mountain. And it's got this like couple twisty turns and it's like very steep would not have made it. I would have given up. <laughs> I would have driven back to Seoul. Um, so anyway, this is called The Apple Tree. They have an Instagram. I will link them down below. Um, we just had breakfast. It is raining, which is a bummer um, because like the day that we leave is gonna be really nice. But um, it does look really magical and the rain on the roof of this house that they built um, was really great to wake up to. So, you know, Take it as it comes, but yeah, so she mentioned uh, she's really peppy. I We only saw the owner for like a couple seconds last night, but she's really excitable. So she just spat a lot of information out at us. So I'm not really sure what's going on, but she basically said she doesn't recommend apple picking when it's raining, but also the amount that you have to pick is quite large. So she's kind of like, you didn't bring any bags with you, like one of them. Um, I, I don't know why we can't pick less, <laughs> but she's got a system. It's fine. So I don't know if we're actually going to pick it or not. We got to eat some for breakfast, but, um, yeah, she gave us like cute little breakfast, um, included every single day. And we're just probably going to walk around to try to just kind of relax. Both of us, as you guys probably can tell, are workaholics. And so I didn't bring my laptop. We're just going to try to not work. I was gonna read and I brought my sketchbook and stuff. Do you wanna go on a tour? Now that we've totally messed up the apartment, oh God. So you have the entryway. I'm not gonna open it because when I went out in the morning, a bug came in. <laughs> so there's that, that's where our shoes are and stuff. And then you, excuse me, walk in and we have this kitchen area, microwave and everything, of course. Plenty of apple juice. We're just gonna have um, pasta and some soups and stuff uh, for today. This was her, where we got our breakfast. Then we have this beautiful deck area um, that has fairy lights that you can put on at night. We have our little kitchen table. She picked these, I saw on her Instagram. She uh, picked and arranged these from the garden outside, which is very beautiful. The rest of the room is basically the bed area, which we have obviously slept in. <laughs> um, but yeah, you're just literally like surrounded by apple trees and it's so nice. And then Kurt is taking a shower. So we have a bathroom and then we have just this little sitting area as well. And that's our house for the weekend. So anyway, I'm gonna clean up the house and start reading. So I'll see you guys later. Literally as far as the eye can see is just apples.
Japan. Are you looking for your phone? No. Oh. But where's my phone? <laughs> You're using it for that? <laughs> So I'm on my second walk of the day. This has been very nice. I read a book, uh, not very different from what happens when I stay at home <laughs> in Seoul. But yeah, just being kind of away from everything and being able to just walk around in silence. Honestly, this street is noisier than <laughs> the street back home. All of these bugs. Um, but yeah, it's just been quite nice. The, the closest like thing here is this church. Um, but they're the ones who have this gorgeous little garden. Isn't that amazing? What even are these? These don't look like sweet peas. They're so delicate. Um, anyway, I'm getting distracted. What I wanted to say, <coughs> this is something that I have talked about, uh, on my book channel a little bit, but, um, something that I'm finding to be very important and actually Kurt and I have recently been talking about a lot because he's working on his own kind of creative project as well, is just the importance of stepping away from something. Um, I have the problem where if I get really excited about a project, especially if it's a creative project, I will just throw myself into it and not want to look up until it's done. And then I'll be kind of spent and I won't, I don't know, I'll like hit a wall or something like that. Um, but what I have learned to be incredibly important, um, especially when it comes to, for me, um, mostly when it comes to writing, is that you need to do something else. And that time of doing something else is when inspiration comes. So yeah, I just wanted, I feel like, I know that I feel this way with YouTube, is that like you feel a certain pressure to produce constantly and like, within a certain time frame as well like if you have an idea it should be out soon um but i think that if you have the luxury of especially if it's just like a fun creative thing you want to do um if you have the luxury to just sit on it for a while and kind of live in it and then like put it away and pick it back up again um i have found that that is immensely helpful um like things just hit me i would go for a walk and i would see something and i would be like holy crap, this needs to be in my story. And it would completely change the direction of what I was doing. So that's a little bit of what we're doing as, here as well is that, like I said, Kurt's working on his own thing. Um, and he's kind of gotten in this mindset of like, he has been completely absorbed by this monster thing that he's working on. And he just needs to take a step back so that he can come back and look at it with fresh eyes and notice new things. So that's what we're doing. Yeah, it's just been quite nice, really quiet, hanging out. I read a totally disturbing book. I wish I had picked <laughs> a better book because it was kind of scary and like dark. So weird vibes. I'm gonna go back and ask Kurt how he feels about the apples. Let's see, but anyway, just thank you for being out here with me. I'm gonna head back, gonna get some water and um, maybe pick apples now, who knows? Okay. Oh, <laughs> 
따져요. 어. 근데 음. 가능하면 꼭지를 빼지 마세요. 꼭지가 아. 빠지면 사과를 아. 부딪히면 갈색으로 멍들거든요. 아. 그러면 안 예쁘니까 한번 따져줘. 맞아요. 맞아요. 따져요. 아. Oh, who picked this? You probably did. If it's no, on the top, then you picked it. Oh What's wrong God. with it? What's wrong with it? Isn't that okay? I mean, it's okay, but... I didn't like her anyway. I... <laughs> it's like a horror movie. <laughs> crawl into my arms. Fine home, apple. <gasps> It's so sour. It's small. But I like sour things. For the record, the tiny sour apple is not too sour. It's delicious. Whoever picked it was smart. I was only trying to stay warm. Bye, pretty home. Goodbye, apples. Okay, hi guys, welcome back. It's the next day. We are back home and I just wanted to kind of wrap this up and give you my thoughts overall. It was so lovely. The owner was so nice. Um, she has a little son who is adorable um, and she ends up, she has like two pensions. They're on the other side of the orchard. So we only ended up seeing the three girls who were staying there for like two seconds because they were finishing picking apples when we started. Um, other than that, it was just so quiet, so serene, just really lovely. It was definitely what we needed. I think that we could have, I would, okay. Mm -hmm. I would recommend, we went August 19, 2021. I would recommend going maybe closer to like September, um, it would still be really lush and really green. Um, and then obviously later in October would be like all the autumn colors, but I kind of liked the summer feeling. Um, I booked this place. I saw it on Instagram. I booked this place in April and there were still pretty much, there were quite a few open spaces. Um, but now it is booked for as far as the eye can see. So definitely, um, you will have to book it like in spring think about what you're gonna do at the end of summer kind of thing if you want to go here it was really lovely i would go back in september just because uh while we were there it ended up 
I didn't take a picture, but on our weather app, it said that it felt like 38 outside. Um, and we were just not into that. So um, we could have walked a lot more um, and seen quite a bit more, but way too hot. We were very happy to just like lay around. So that's what we did. If you are bringing a car, there is so much to do. She sent me like a huge list of things that are all within like a five minute drive, really pretty like gorgeous cafes. There is like a national park nearby. So if you're interested in like hiking or something like that, um, plenty to do, really gorgeous. I would say though, it's very helpful to have someone who speaks Korean very well. Um, just for the mere fact of if you're gonna deal with a taxi because even Kurt had issues when we called the guy to come pick us up. He was having a difficult time talking to them. Like even though we knew the address and everything, taxi drivers in the countryside tend to like not love using maps. They will just go by their memory. And so even if you give them an address, sometimes they'll be like, oh, well, I don't know where that is. So I don't know what to do. And and Kurt was just like pulling out his hair. He was like, look at a map. We figured it out. Cacao taxi usually doesn't work in the countryside because the individual taxi drivers don't want to use cacao taxi. So um, you had to actually call them. So that's just like a tip that even like a native Korean speaker had issues <laughs> calling for a taxi. Overall, just so wonderful. Um, I didn't mention to the host that I didn't eat meat, um, but I'm sure she would accommodate if you say, hey, don't give me a sausage. She wouldn't give you a sausage. <laughs> yeah, just really, really wonderful. Um, the apples are not like Granny Smith sour apples. They are actually really sweet. They are on the sour side, but I think that they're quite sweet and um, really yummy. So I'm gonna try, you guys left some recipes for me on Instagram, so thank you so much. Um, but honestly, like just putting them in the fridge and eating them is really nice too. So yeah, anyway, um, I'm going to wrap this up, but what a wonderful little escape. Thank you guys so much for coming along. So I will catch you guys next time, but thank you as always. And uh, welcome to apple season. I'm so excited. So yeah, okay, see you then, bye. I was only trying to stay warm